The current belief is that women suffer from eating disorders. An eating disorder is defined as a range of psychological disorder characterized by an abnormal or distributed eating habit. This is an un understandable common belief due to the fact that females are often portrayed as the sole sufferers of eating disorders. It is common to see articles, videos, posts and other stories about the dangers of eating disorders for women or girls and how females have overcome this disease. However, the same cannot be said for males. We often see posts on celebrities, Instagram and other Instagram personalities saying they are creating unreasonable expectations and standards for little girls and teens, which is often associated in an environment where, dis where eating disorders thrive. The same is not as common for men. An eating disorder is a form of mental illness that affects anyone regardless of gender, race, religion, sexual orientation, or political stance. In our society, there is still a stigma that surrounds disorders, especially when it comes to males with mental illnesses. For example, if a woman talks about her struggle with an eating disorder and how she overcame it, she would be seen as strong and that she had the courage to speak up about it. However, if a man comes forward about him struggling with an eating disorder, he is then viewed instead as weak and feminine. It's because of the stigma and taboo that surrounds male mental illnesses that many men are afraid to come forward and talk about their struggle with, with eating disorders and other mental illnesses. Despite the commonly held belief that only women struggle from eating disorders, Nita found that one in three people suffering with an eating disorder are in fact male. In America alone, 10 million men will be affected by an eating disorder at some point in their life. Although eating disorders do seem to affect more females than males, it is important to note that they may be suffering in silence and that they may never come forward about their struggles. However, this does not mean that males do not suffer from eating disorders and that they should not be excluded from the conversation.